Welcome to section 11 of the parasites. This is our overview figure showing the parasites you need to know for step one. In this lecture, we will be talking about one of the protozoa, Trichomonas vaginalis, which you can see right here. Our Trichomonas vaginalis story takes place outside a metro station. This poor boy is super bored waiting for his babysitter. He's on a tricycle and he's moaning with boredom. So trike and moaning for Trichomonas as in Trichomonas vaginalis. To keep the area spick and span, management likes to keep a big barrel of bleach readily available at all times. Bleach is an alkaline cleanser, so its pH is on the higher end. You can see that the container says pH greater than 4.5. This refers to the pH of the vaginal discharge in Trichomonas vaginalis. It is above 4.5, so on the more alkaline side of things, relative to other causes of abnormal discharge which have a lower pH. Interestingly, this is not a hard and fast rule when it comes to Trichomonas. That means if you think your patient has a Trichomonas infection, but the pH is lower than expected, like 3.5, then assume it's Trichomonas and ignore the pH. Because in this case, seeing is believing. If you're looking at Trichomonas, you know it's Trichomonas, no matter what the pH says. This man here thought that the barrel of bleach was a drinking fountain. I guess he couldn't see the label from his perspective. He was in for a shocking surprise when he accidentally swallowed bleach. Poor guy. This shock caused him to knock back into the nearby trough. This trough represents trifozoites, and Trichomonas vaginalis has a trophozoite form. This is a microscopic image showing the trophozoite form of Trichomonas. You can see the flagella on each of these trophozoites. These flagella make the organism very motile. And this is an important image to remember, so commit it to memory. You are probably wondering why the trough had strawberries written on the side of it. Well, to keep passengers patient and happy as they wait for their ride, the metro station provides complimentary strawberries. You can see the strawberries flying into the air when the trough was bumped. These strawberries make reference to the strawberry cervix that is often seen on examination in patients with trichomonas infections. This guy over here was just innocently drinking his protein drink before all the ruckus started. You can see the little trophozoites in his drink if you look closely. This protein drink will help you remember that trichomonas vaginalis is a protozoa. Protein, protozoa. The metro station also provides complimentary alcohol to the passengers. Since this table of alcohol was next to the strawberry trough, it got bumped too and is now spilling frothy alcohol on the ground, drenching this poor woman. The frothiness represents the frothy nature of the vaginal discharge. On pelvic exam, the frothy vaginal discharge is often described as yellow, just like the yellow alcohol you see here. So when you think of this frothy yellow alcohol drenching this poor woman, think of frothy yellow discharge. Now this woman is a busy scientist, and she came here to pick up her little nephew while his parents are away. So that tricycle kid who was moaning was waiting for this lady. She's probably in a bad mood now. That poor kid now has to deal with an angry babysitter on top of being super bored. Anyways, this scientist woman needed to bring her microscope with her when she came to pick up her nephew. And with all the chaos of rushing here and getting drenched in frothy yellow alcohol, she dropped her microscope. The microscope is now resting in that puddle of fluid. And this represents the fact that trichomonas can be diagnosed using saline microscopy. In saline microscopy, a sample of that frothy yellow discharge is collected and placed under a slide, and it will produce an image like this. You can see those little modal trichomonads moving around. Here are the boy's parents leaving him behind. They're pretty happy to take off on their vacation together. Well, this metro they're using to leave represents metronidazole, which is used to treat trichomonas vaginalis infections. The fact that both of these people are on the metro together represents the fact that both partners should be treated. Otherwise, the one partner will just keep reinfecting the other. So again, this couple on the metro stands for treating both partners with metronidazole. Implicit in this idea is the fact that Trichomonas vaginalis is an STI. To represent this, we have a scarlet letter on her shirt. This makes reference to the book, The Scarlet Letter, about a woman who is required to wear a scarlet letter on her clothes to remind everyone that she had sex. Kind of a weird story, but somewhat of a classic. Anyways, scarlet letter stands for STI, and being sexually transmitted means that this infection will just get transmitted back and forth between husband and wife until they're both treated. Now that we've covered the items in the image, let's do a question to apply what you've learned. A 30-year-old woman reports abnormal vaginal discharge for the past five days. She states that the discharge is foamy and greenish-yellow in color. After obtaining a more detailed history, she states that she recently became sexually active with a new partner. The physician performs a speculum exam and appreciates an erythematous cervix. A sample of vaginal discharge is then obtained and promptly examined under the microscope. Microscopy reveals several protozoan organisms with noticeable flagella. Based on the information provided, which of the following statements is most likely true? A. She obtained the infection from her partner. B. A pH of 3.7 would rule out Trichomonas vaginalis. C. The pathogen is part of the normal vaginal flora. Or D. Clue cells will indicate the likely cause of her infection. Hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this condition is consistent with Trichomonas vaginalis. Evidence includes the foamy discharge. This could also be described as frothy, like the alcohol in the image. We are also told that the color is greenish yellow. 
which again is consistent with the yellow alcohol. Also, she recently became sexually active with a new partner, and she has cervicitis because she has an erythematous cervix. If visualized, the physician may describe the cervix as being strawberry red. The last clue is that we see protozoan organisms with flagella on microscopy. With this in mind, the correct answer is A. She obtained the infection from her partner. Recall that Trichomonas vaginalis is an STI, and in the context of a new sexual partner, we can blame him. Remember this sexually active couple here leaving behind their tricycle boy? Now choice B is incorrect because pH that doesn't fit the bill exactly can't compete with the findings in the vignette. You can't rule out Trichomonas just because the pH doesn't fall neatly above 4.5 like we'd expect. Choice C is incorrect because Trichomonas is not part of the vaginal flora. However, this would be a true statement if we were talking about Gardnerella vaginalis. Finally, choice D is incorrect because clue cells are found in Gardnerella infections, not with Trichomonas infections. And even if clue cells were visualized, based on the information we have, Trichomonas is a far more likely cause of her symptoms than a Gardnerella infection. So clue cells would not tell us what's going on here. And that should be all you need to know about Trichomonas vaginalis.